today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I transform this 2D character into 3D. Forearms is my favorite alien in the Big Ten universe, so I decided to pay my respect with the character sculpt. This project is going to push my skills to the end. So enough talking, let's knock this out. First things first, we need to game plan. That means hunting down reference images. We're talking that signature red skin, can't forget the forearms of destruction, and some reference for specific muscle anatomy. Now that we've finished finding our references, let's finally hop into Blender. To start things out, I'm gonna block out the shape of my character's head. At this part of the process, I'm not gonna focus on being detailed. I'm just gonna focus on getting the proportions right. Now I'm just gonna use a mask to bring out my character's neck. Finishing up with my character's neck, I'm gonna move on to adding the placeholders for my character's eyes. And block out the mouth as well. Moving forward, I'm gonna add a sphere to get my character's eye. Then I'm going to scale those into place to fit the size of my eye sockets. Now I'm going to move my focus back to my mouth. I'm going to add a torus shape, cut that in half, and start sculpting out my character's teeth. Then I'm going to remesh my shape and sculpt in some details. Now that we're finished with the mouth, I'm going to move forward and start blocking out my character's upper body. To make sure I'm using the proper proportions, I'm going to duplicate seven of my character's head on the side just so I can be safe from blocking everything out. Now I'm going to start sculpting in the details to my character's muscles. Finishing up with the upper body, I'm going to start moving to my character's arm. I decided to work from the shoulders down. And I'm going to continue to add the details into the arm.
Now that I'm finished with the arms, I'm going to use a mirror and duplicate those to get four arms. And that's going to be it for the upper body for the moment. I'm going to shift my focus to the lower body. Sculpting a super muscular character, I highly recommend having good muscle references. This is a game changer. This project went so much faster when I decided to use muscle references instead of my memory. Now that I finally finished the legs, I'm going to move forward and start sculpting out the feet. After I'm done with the feet, I'm going to finally move on to sculpting out the hands. Now that I'm finally finished sculpting the hands, I'm going to duplicate and mirror those so I can have four hands for each arm. Now we're going to be moving forward to my favorite part of the project, texture painting. I really enjoyed this because I believe it brought the character's likeliness to life. Drawing in the small details made my sculpt look more like the Ben 10 character that we all know. I used a free add-on, Uku Paint, and I highly recommend it. Being able to paint your sculpt in layers makes the process so much easier. So take my advice and download this free add-on.
Finishing up with the texture paint, I'm going to move forward and add some cinematics to my scope by adding in some lighting. Add in multiple sources of light, added a serious dynamic to the scope. And if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to comment and let me know your favorite alien. Mine was Heat Blast. Now we're going to be moving forward to the posing. This was the hardest part of the project. To get the armatures in the right spot took a lot of trial and error. But with a lot of time and persistence, I finally figured it out. Thank you. 
and that's going to be the conclusion for this project i hope you guys enjoy the final product also be sure to comment and let me know what you think enough talking enjoy And that's going to be the conclusion to this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the final product. Also, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any tips on how I can get better in Blender, also on YouTube, be sure to comment that too. And that's going to be it. Until next time.